the following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a 7.9 magnitude earthquake was felt in the city of Fresno. All residents hearing this message are advised to prepare for aftershocks, turn off all gas, heating, and air conditioning systems in your house to prevent large fires. The United States Geological Survey is currently looking for a cause of this earthquake and will update the public on USGS.gov. Stay tuned to your local news or radio station for updates on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, multiple reports say that steam was rising out of the Long Valley supervolcano. Geologists believe that the earthquake that happened this morning may be a sign of the volcano waking up, however, an eruption cannot be ruled out at this time. All residents within a 50-mile radius of the Long Valley supervolcano must go into your homes and lock all windows and doors to prevent any steam from entering your home. Make sure you have food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, toiletries, and a battery-powered radio to last you for the duration of this emergency, and if an evacuation order is issued prior to an eruption. Stay tuned to your local radio station for updates on this potentially dangerous situation. So, the Long Valley Supervolcano is steaming? Yes, apparently the Long Valley Supervolcano is steaming for an obviously good reason. Oh, I see. The earthquake that happened this morning may have caused the steaming to occur. Yeah, I would agree with you. And also, I hope the Long Valley supervolcano doesn't erupt as this would be a global situation since supervolcanoes are more powerful than regular volcanoes. I hope so too. Anyways I will check the monitor and... Oh, my, God. The Long Valley supervolcano is on the verge of erupting within the next two to three hours. We need to alert the governor so she can issue an evacuation order as soon as possible. This is going to be a very dangerous and life-threatening situation. Hello. This is Governor Foxington speaking. Hello, this is Paul from the United States Geological Survey. I am calling regards of the Long Valley Supervolcano. It's going to erupt within the next two to three hours. We need to evacuate as many people away from the supervolcano as possible before it erupts as this is a very dangerous situation. Oh, I see. I will issue an evacuation order to anyone within a 100-mile radius within the Long Valley Supervolcano as soon as possible. Thanks for telling me about that. Goodbye.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Geologists have confirmed that the Long Valley Supervolcano is on the verge of erupting within the next two to three hours. All residents within a 100-mile radius of the Long Valley Supervolcano must evacuate immediately. Make sure you take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, toiletries, and a battery-powered radio to last you during your evacuation. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. Those facilities have their own evacuation procedures. Do not delay. Evacuate now. Repeat. Evacuate now. Stay tuned to your local radio station for updates on this life-threatening situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the Long Valley Supervolcano has begun to violently erupt. Already, 5 cubic kilometers of ash have been released from the volcano into our atmosphere, which could cause a volcanic winter in the western U.S. for a couple months, or even years. All residents within a 500-mile radius from the Long Valley Supervolcano must seek an underground shelter now. Lock all doors and windows to prevent volcanic ash from entering your home. Make sure you have food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, toiletries, and a battery-powered radio to last you for at least five months. Do not go outside for any reason as volcanic ash can't be fatal, even if a little is ingested in your body. Stay tuned to your local radio station for updates on this very dangerous situation. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States or his representative will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important instructions will follow.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the United States Geological Survey. This is not a test, repeat, this is not a test, our world is coming to an end. At 5.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, NASA has detected hundreds of large objects exiting our atmosphere. The United States Geological Survey confirms that all of this is the Long Valley Supervolcano, which has violently erupted in a way that we have never seen before. The debris range from half a mile to 10 miles in diameter. The objects will hit the Pacific Ocean within the next 30 minutes. NASA compares this to a large-scale asteroid impact. When the debris hits, mega tsunamis in the Pacific and planet-shattering earthquakes will occur across the entire planet, as well as the blocking of the sun by ash which will kill off all living plants. Thus, this event cannot be survivable. All residents of the United States and the rest of the planet must do the following. Gather with loved ones or family members and brace yourself for your demise. If you're part of a religion, pray to your higher being or beings. Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ. Jesus our Lord. This is EAS Guy, Tom, signing off. This message will cease transmission after one last playing of our national anthem. Goodbye forever. See you in the afterlife.